Hi everyone. For this demo, I want to show how I can use FQDN DNS resolution to connect VCNs in different regions and or different OCA tenancies. For this purpose, I have configured two VCNs in Phoenix and San Jose regions. Each VCN has its own unique DNS domain name enabled. In each VCN, I have two subnets with their own DNS label. I have a host in each subnet with an FQDN formed from the VCN DNS domain name, subnet label, and host name. I have also configured a DNS listener and a forwarder in the Phoenix region. Before making any changes, I verify the response on all hosts FQDN using NSLOOKUP. First, I am using the compute host in the Phoenix VCN. The first two DNS queries will be for the host in the same VCN and region, the compute and the DB host. The following two queries will be for the San Jose region VCN host. As you can see, the last two queries are failing. Let's do the same test on the compute host in the San Jose VCN. The results on this host are the same. Only the FQDNs in the same region VCN are resolved. I will start with the San Jose region to apply the changes in this video scope. Go to Hamburger menu, networking and virtual cloud networks. Select the DNS demo VCN. Click on DNS resolver link. Now, I need to create a forwarded endpoint by going to Endpoints and clicking on Create Endpoint. Provide the name, choose a subnet for the endpoint, and choose the endpoint type, in this case, a forwarding endpoint. Optionally, you can type in the desired IP address of the endpoint. Now, I can click on Create Endpoint. Next, I will create a listening endpoint just like the forwarding endpoint. The only difference is that the endpoint type it will be a listening endpoint. To finish this region configuration, we must create a rule to forward the Phoenix DNS domain name to the Phoenix DNS list. For this configuration, I'm going to Rules and click Manage Rules. Now, I will select the condition as domains, add the Phoenix VCN domain name as a domain, select the source endpoint, the DNS forwarder endpoint we created earlier. In the destination IP field, add the Phoenix region listener IP. And finally, I can save it a configuration. Now, let's move to the Phoenix region and complete the configuration. Select the DNS demo VCN. Click on DNS resolver link. Like I said in the beginning of this demo, on the Phoenix region, I already have the DNS endpoints. In this region, all I need is to Configure a rule to forward the San Jose DNS domain name to the San Jose region listener IP. This rule will be similar to the one I created in San Jose region. Once the status becomes active, I can return to the compute instances and redo the failed tests. 
after creating the forwarding endpoints and the rules to forward the VCN domain name to the other region, everything works as expected and the tests that failed earlier now are working. This concludes our demo. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.